Making headlines, President Biden signed the foreign aid bill early this morning, and in that package also includes a potential TikTok ban if its Chinese owners do not sell their stake. The legislation gives TikTok's parent company nine months to sell TikTok. It includes a possible three-month extension on that deadline if a sale is in progress. Now the question is to divest or face a nationwide ban. With Biden's signature on the bill, it's one more major step in a possibly becoming one of the first countries to ban the social media platform. Our Mackenzie Laporte's working for you on the timeline of events leading up to this very moment. Mackenzie. An app that millions of Americans use every day to check out new recipes, the latest trends, funny videos, and even use it as their source of news may face a nationwide ban. I sat down with the Illinois congressman who started the movement, raising concerns about user privacy. And now it's become the law of the land. Lawmakers on Capitol Hill protecting Americans' privacy, saying without this bill in place, China's government could force ByteDance to hand over U.S. user data. This is not really a ban. It's about providing an incentive for divestment. And it's really not about TikTok. It's about ByteDance. ByteDance, TikTok's parent company, is believed to have connections with the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party. A colleague of Krishnamurthy, Representative Mark Pocan, supporting the other side of the argument, stating this move won't solve our security problems. The debate has gone to whether or not we should ban a single platform, and it's getting lost on that rather than the very real issues that Congress should take on. Pocan adds that TikTok isn't the only platform with security threats. There is a real problem, and we should be addressing it. And it includes TikTok and Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and other platforms about our data and our privacy of our data. Originally hitting the phones of millions across the country in 2016, the timeline of banning TikTok goes back four years ago to 2020, when former President Trump spearheaded the initial effort to ban the app over security concerns. Which brings us to present day 2024, where President Biden signed the law that could ban Chinese-owned TikTok unless sold within nine months. Working for you, I'm Mackenzie Laporte. Thanks, Mackenzie. With the bill signed into law, there are many ifs when it comes to a TikTok ban here in the U.S., but the new law gives the app's owner 270 days to sell to another company. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.